this frog thrives in ridiculously low temperatures at the bottom of the world here in New Zealand. What frog is this? I know what you're thinking. Yep, I'm wearing a headlamp. Yo, I'm Max. In this video, I'm diving into the life of a fascinating little creature that not only survives, but thrives in the chilly climate of New Zealand, the whistling tree frog. The whistling tree frog is a dope little tree frog that has been naturalized in New Zealand. Unlike many frogs that prefer warm, humid, maybe more tropical environments, this resilient little tree frog is adapted to live in cooler temperatures, making it quite unique amongst its frog peers around the world. These frogs are most commonly found in the southern parts of New Zealand, where temperatures can drop significantly, I mean freezing, especially during winter. Despite this, this little frog can not only survive in these harsh conditions, but they also stay fairly active. They've adapted incredibly well to the south island of New Zealand and they breed all year round. I also have some other fantastic beasts that seem to do just fine in these temps. Anyway, like I said, I'm Max. I've kept reptiles and amphibians in captivity for a long time. It's winter here in New Zealand, it's super cold, and I want to show you how these frogs thrive, essentially in winter, in these cold climates. Stay tuned. So this frog was actually introduced from Australia, the land of the kangaroo, where it thrives in the island of Tasmania in southern Australia. And of course it has flourished in New Zealand due to similar conditions, ample food, and minimal predators. Now, it's cold here in the South Island, like I said, like really cold, like freezing, and I have a small group of these in captivity. Now, being arboreal in nature, their enclosure is super tall with lots of climbing elements and only a small pool of water. That's because these guys don't have webbed feet like other frogs, so they're not the greatest swimmers. In fact, they can drown, apparently. Not on my watch, but they still need water for breeding. Now they spend most of their time in the plants and climbing through the levels of the enclosure and enjoying their boreal elements. Now because you can keep these guys as pets, they are in the pet trade here in New Zealand. So creating a suitable habitat is absolutely crucial for their well-being. Now I've set a terrarium that mimics their natural environment as best I can of course, with plenty of hiding areas, plants and a shallow water pool for them to enjoy. They are frogs at the end of the day, still need humidity and moisture. Now we will get there. Now it's, it's important to maintain a cooler temperature range for these guys, similar to their natural habitat. So remember to always do your research to ensure they remain healthy and active. These guys are also nocturnal, meaning they come out mainly at night and that is when I have to view them to ensure that they're doing well. So my whistling tree frogs are very, very naturalized in the sense that they are very nocturnal. Some might come out during the day, but you have to be prepared to have essentially night pets. So I thought I was also refurbished the enclosure with some new carpet in this video, a real bang for your buck scenario. Now this is fern moss. This moss does really well in terrariums with plenty of misting and in cold weather of New Zealand. This process is actually really, really therapeutic. I love it. Once I remove all the old debris, any decaying matter, get the frogs out safely, then it's time to decorate and add more color, stimulus to the environment. Now, no talking in this next part.
While these frogs are relatively common in New Zealand, other frogs are not, such as our native frogs. Their habitats are constantly under threat due to human activities and removal of habitat. It's important for us to appreciate and protect these little fantastic beasts and the ecosystems they call home, as it's also home to some other fantastic beasts. Now before I forget, one of the most important elements, feeding. Feeding is another important aspect. In captivity, these frogs thrive on a diet of small insects like flies, isopods, small spiders, crickets, anything they can fit in their gob essentially. Frogs are voracious eaters, they eat consistently, so having food is really, really important. So you need to think about this. Even in winter, these guys are still feeding. Now in winter, flies are scarce, but I'll give them other things. So isopods are a fan favorite. So just another thing to think about, if you do ever decide to get tree frogs as pets, or whistling tree frogs as pets, if you live in New Zealand, so think about lighting. You know, an LED bar goes a long way, especially for the plants. You wanna have nice and healthy plants in the enclosure. A UVB spot lamp, just to make sure that they get all the UVB requirements they need, even it being nocturnal, they do come out during the day. And obviously a mister. A mister goes a long way. I got this little sucker of Timu and it works a treat. So very cost effective, Timu's free shipping. Check it out, link below. Otherwise, I hope you liked this video about these dope little tree frogs that exist and live at the bottom of the world here in New Zealand. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next one, like and subscribe.